project to reach everywhere. So welcome Matthias here up on stage. Thank you and welcome to this session. And I hope I can bring some insights at what me and the rest of the team at Odalis are doing uh, to reach everywhere with React and WordPress API. Uh, so before we get into it, a little bit about me. Uh, that's me. Uh, I like to do crazy digital productions. Uh, if someone says something can't be done, I have to prove them wrong and just go for it. Uh, so to get an outlet for that, I used to work in advertising, building small racing cars uh, that communicated with NFC and uh, with an arena then that you could drive over the internet. Uh, that was fun, crazy, uh, and I also did this orchestra built of 300 phones and tablets uh, that connected together and synchronized with music uh, for a recording. Uh, and that was a bit too crazy for me. And I since then wanted to focus a bit more long term uh, on greater solutions that you can use for more than one project. Uh, and that's when I switched into WordPress. Uh, uh, but I still like to keep a bit of the impossible in there. So we are always trying to look out for what the next thing in, in WordPress is. And my role as a CTO of Odalis is like leading a herd of cats, trying to get them into, to go in the same direction, uh, which is quite hard. But it's also really good, because that's what makes us great as developers. We're strong-minded. We're individually, we're great creators, and we change pace, we change direction multiple times a day. And that's what we need to be, uh, because that's when great, greatness comes out of it. And the path that we are on at, from Odalis was started off as one person going, saying, I think I can do something much better, I'm going to do it, I'm going to throw away all, all old stuff that, that, that is great in, in its own way, but we are going to move on. We're gonna we're gonna try something new, and then convincing the rest of the team, this is where we're going. Uh, so that is what we're trying to achieve today. Uh, and let's get into this for real. And just because I want to see about how how you're looking at the web and other opportunities, uh, I'm gonna see uh, kind of which platforms you are targeting. And uh, this is just a small thing that we are looking into for uh, the next few months of where we want to target. There is a big question mark there. We want to reach out much further, but we haven't thought of it yet. So, so this is what we're looking into now. Uh, so can I just uh, do a little question? Who here today are just focusing on delivering great content to the web? No one. Everyone is focusing on something else too. So who? are focusing on getting out to other platforms than just the web. It's quite a, quite a few there. And who are using WordPress to reach out to those alternative platforms? Yeah, a, a, a few more than I expected, but uh, that's good. Uh, for those of you who have been thinking about it, uh, it's going to be uh, a really good trip for you to see how we are doing it. Um, so our setup is that we have a basic WordPress setup with as few plugins as possible. Uh, we have the uh, API on top of that uh, with both default endpoints and custom ones. And then we have React that we use in three different ways at the moment uh, just to ease the transition. Uh, we have decided that we're going to move over completely to React and not rely on anything else. Uh, but yeah, that's quite a hard transition. So we're taking it step by step. Uh, so our WordPress setup, we have always tried to stay low on the amount of plugins that we're using. And that really helped the transition. Because uh, what we will see later on is that you have to give that up. So if you're used to developing your own stuff, you will have an easy transi transition if you want to go this route as we are. Uh, if you're used to installing a lot of plugins, you might have a trickier time, but still not impossible. For the REST API, we try to make it as generic as possible. We don't want to lock anything down there. We see it as a gateway. You should be able to do whatever you want. I don't have a problem with being able to drop all your databases with a, with a REST call. Uh, 
if you have the right permissions, of course. That's, that, that's nothing I, I see as a problem. Uh, and also, if you're gonna drop your databases, do you need seven questions to say, yes, this is really what I, what I wanna do? For me, I would like to see a solution where I get the push notification to my phone and I just drop all my databases. That could be a solution. Use case, there must be a mafia group somewhere having all their transactions in WordPress and this could come in very handy. <laughs> so, React, uh, how many here are using React today? Good, uh, for uh, those of you who don't know it, it's a JavaScript library that makes ease to, to use JavaScript and HTML markup together. Uh, so you do functionality and you do views uh, in the same place, which makes it really easy to, to focus on that. Do dynamic updates in real time because you have everything in the same place. Uh, so that's where we're going. Uh, we have three ways of doing it, uh, as I mentioned before. Here is a whole site we made in React. It, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a small site that you just click through a few, few settings. Uh, and the great thing with having everything in React is that you have full control. You know what everything is doing. And that's the preferable route, but that's not always the option that you can go for. So here for, uh, for Mama, uh, we couldn't switch over the whole site in one go. So we have the little blog carousel at the top that's seamlessly integrated uh, with, with all the other page templating from, from WordPress. And we also have these modules inside of the admin, so we can as easy throw in a module wherever we want, have all the functionality that you would want, uh, set uh, metadata and set taxonomies without having to go through the default WordPress functionality. And we want to replace the whole admin because we think we can do something much better, but it's a lot of functionality to replace, so we're, we're going bit by bit in order until we have everything. And the most important thing, we can bundle it up, we can deploy it uh, in an app, have everything locally, or somewhere else. Uh, in flight uh, entertainment systems, I'm sure they can show HTML, so we could deploy it there. Something that you can't do today if you're relying on your server to render the pages. Uh, so yeah, everything here is um, uh, done locally on the phone. We just harness the power of WordPress to get the content in there. Uh, so that is stuff that we have done already. And uh, you should really think about making the switch. And, and the reason is it's going to get much better. It's going to be a hard start, but it's going to get better. And here are the three reasons that, uh, that we think you should do it for. Reason one, unlimited possibilities. It's hard to compete with that. Uh, it's really hard to compete with that. It doesn't have any restrictions on, on, on what you can do. Uh, you, can, you can reach anywhere you like. You can target anything you like. You don't have to think about any, any kind of, yeah, I need a web page and then this. It's just, I have an idea, can I do it? And the answer should be, yes, it's as easy as doing it on the web. The reason, too, uh, is that this is the future. I'm predicting the future. I, I can see it happening. Uh, and it's not going to be that. But yeah, it's clear signs that we're going over to, uh, to a dynamic rendered page rather than having it statically rendered on the server before serving it. So you can look away, or you can fight it as long as you can. But as soon as you start to think that this is happening, you will be ahead of the curve for your next projects. Uh, and the third reason, it blurs the line. Uh, it blurs the lines between different silos that are at the moment, and this makes me really excited. This is what it's all about. You shouldn't have to log into your admin to do admin stuff. You shouldn't be a backend developer to do classic backend stuff. So the three kind of silo separated parts that, that are classically there is backend versus frontend. Why can a backend person do certain tasks that a frontend person can never do? Why is a backend person always responsible for the logic? That never made any sense to me. Why can't I just do it whichever programming language I have? 
So to switching over to a generic API where you can do whatever you want, database administration, just small things uh, like, like layout stuff and, and saving stuff, why, why can't we do it as a front-end person? So switching over removes this, block, this line. And, uh, and it makes it all much better. So I can do my admin stuff from wherever I want. And that's the next thing. What's the difference between an admin person and a visitor? There shouldn't really be anything. Uh, we've heard it earlier in talks that the, the WordPress admin looks quite dated. We should be able to do something about that. And for me, it's using the exact same thing both front end and back end. So this is a little calendar that we have. It uses the exact same component on the front end and as the back end. Uh, at the moment, it's running in the admin uh, just because ease of transition. But we can as easily move all the admin tasks into the front end. And you can update content on the front end, just send it in uh, as long as you have the right permissions. So that means I can package the calendar planning app, have it with me on the go, don't have to have any data for it, I can just send it in, uh, and I can, uh, I can time it with ebook releases and stuff like that too, if, if I have my API set up correctly. Uh, so yeah, you shouldn't be in the admin area to do admin stuff. And then having to split between page load and dynamic changes. Uh, you want to change to having everything dynamic. You can do anything uh, by just updating some settings on your page without reloading it. Uh, and this, when you do that, it, it gets much easier, everything. Because at the moment, it's so easy to render pages. Put out some HTML, put out the data, and then someone comes and requests, yeah, I want to do this, I want a filter here. You start adding some JavaScript to filter that, you, uh, it, it might not update your layout correctly, it might show the wrong values, uh, it might not uh, navigate as you think it should. So React is, is so good uh, because it's, it mixes HTML and JavaScript. So anything you do, you can do it on page load, on a dynamic change. So you make it as easy to do dynamic changes and people will start to use it. Uh, here is uh, a gallery that we made, Pinterest layout. Uh, classic, uh, in, in classic development, you would have to decide, should I output them in columns directly? Should I try to use CSS to solve it? Or should I add a JavaScript library that takes care of it? In React, the choice is easy. There is really no choice. You loop over the items anyway, so you, can, you might as well set the position there. And then you can easily add filtering systems to it. You can easily move them around and you know that they are always going to be placed perfectly no matter what you do. So that's all great, but there, there has to be a catch. And yes, there are. It's, it's not just smooth sailing all the way. You give up a lot of stuff in order to achieve it. So uh, it's hard at the moment, I should say, and that is because there aren't, aren't as many developers on it uh, as, as it is in general WordPress development. So as earlier in the future, it will have a lot of developers. Someone will have solved what you're trying to do. And, uh, and then it will be easy. But for now, these are the struggles that we have come across. So we are leaving WordPress structure. And that is, that is hard because the, the API just gives you data. You have to decide what to implement. Do you need widgets? Do you need all of these 50,000 plugins? Because all of that has to go. Um, they don't work because we're just using the data to, to display it. So is it worth it? Not the first time, I wouldn't say. Maybe not the second time either. Probably not the third time. Fourth time, you should see some increase. Uh, that is if you're building a site. But if you're targeting some, something else, it's going to pay off the first time. So in the long run, my answer is yes. It's going to be good for you. So challenge yourself or your development team to take the step out of the comfort zone and, and really go for it. It's going to pay off. The second part, SEO. 
we are using JavaScript, JavaScript, I can't speak anymore, JavaScript to, um, to render the page. And how will that impact on, on our ranking? No one really knows, different opinions. Uh, we strongly believe that it will be the same ranking. But we are not that brave to, to gamble with our clients' websites, and not our own for that matter either. Uh, and we're, we're still trying to solve how to do this the best way. There are ways to render this uh, on the back end, but that puts other restrictions on your server and your structure. Uh, so this is something we haven't solved, and we're going to look into and, and publish a full guide of how we are doing the SEO things for, for React in the next coming months. Uh, and that leads us into number three. The default setup doesn't require anything special of your server. So you can, you can run it on your default uh, LAMP structure, but you really want to look into backend rendering. And then it comes the choice. Should I go over to Node, and should I use it as the main server, or should I use, it, um, should I use Apache to proxy the Node pages? Uh, anyway, you, you're moving away from the default setup that works basically everywhere, and this will be an annoyance that follows you for the rest of your career. Cache, something we don't want to think of, it should just work. And that's how it does with the major cache plugins. It's really great, but we have given them up. And there are cache plugins for, for the rest, but with its 200 active installs compared to the 1 million active installs for the, for the major one, it feels kind of untested. And if you're reaching a high, a high number of people, you really want to make sure that it works. And lastly, the small differences. And this is the most annoying thing you can ever imagine. So by default, React doesn't es escape HTML characters. So you see this kind of things for, for, for ants. Uh, doesn't look that good. Um, and, and, and just those small things that changes. You use the history API instead of rendering pages. So uh, that doesn't always work as you expect it to. And Nobody on Stack Overflow seems to be this doing the same as you are. So no one has the answers. So you just have to sit down and find them. Uh, for example, we couldn't figure out when we were building an app why it sometimes didn't deliver any data. Uh, so, so we had to sit down, think about what's happening here. And what we had done, we had bundled this up. So the app ran locally. Uh, on the site, it ran from a server. And uh, the, the caching of the server store they allow origin. So every time we requested the same data from, from the site and from the app, one of them couldn't use it. Took a while to find, just annoying, you will overcome it. But prepare for that not everything is working the same. So to sum it up, you should use it for because you get unlimited possibilities. It can reach everywhere without any extra effort. It is a better experience for both writers and readers. But you have to step out of your comfort zone uh, and leave all the WordPress functionality behind. Uh, you have to do special solutions for SEO and cache and deal with the unexpected behavior. So there you have it, the good parts, the struggles. I hope you're interested in taking WordPress to the next level with us. Thank you. Okay, do we have any questions? We have about five minutes for questions. Yeah, uh, we have in the middle here. So if everyone's <laughs> ready, I'll throw the mic. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, okay, uh, so um, you said that you're gonna replace both the admin and the front end. Yes. And uh, that leaves me in the question, why do you use WordPress? Because then you only have an API, then this would be much easier to make it using like a front like, framework that you just make an API. Uh, yes, but we like WordPress. And <laughs> 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 but but now, now you throw away everything that's good with WordPress and you just have an API left. No, there is still a lot of things under the hood that's really good with it. So you have all the taxonomies set up, you have, uh, you have the uh, writing, you have the short codes, all of that can still live. You just have to take it over to the, to the API as, as you see fit. Well, the short codes are rendered on the back end, so you won't be using that. Yeah, but you have to update to some something that that can handle them. Thanks for your answer. 
Uh, some more questions? Uh, okay, so we have one up here. Uh, if we throw uh, to Andreas here. Thank you. If you compare uh, React with uh, Angular 2 and uh, Vue, JS, yeah. anything to say there? I think they are all great. Uh, we have chosen React because we think it, it feels like they are focusing more on reusability between projects and, and kind of doing small components, and, and that's why we've chosen it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think whatever you choose, it's, it's, it's great, as long as it can do the same thing, update dynamically, and, and, and don't have to use page renders. Mm. Okay. Uh, do we have any more questions? I think there should be some, plenty of people <laughs> here. Uh, I, for one, have a question at least. Uh, yeah. Do you see, how do you think about the fact that after so many releases of WordPress that we're finally seeing, at least that's what we think, uh, the actual release of the endpoints in the WordPress API for WordPress 4.7? Uh, any comments on that? Uh, that? It's not a plugin, I mean, it's part of core, or will be. Yeah, uh, yeah we hope it's going to be soon. Uh, yeah, you can build anything you like, but it's just that when it comes into the basic, it will take off uh, much further. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's looking bright that it's gonna come in. Yeah, everyone's amazed. Said yeah. stunning. <laughs> Either that, or uh, everyone's hungry, or something uh, in need <laughs> of coffee. Uh, okay, so let's give a big thank you to um, Matthias. I would like to give you this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, in about seven minutes, we will be gathering in the main hall uh, for the closing up remarks. So, uh, everyone, if you could just slowly move over to the other uh, hall, and we'll have some closing remarks before the party begins. Uh, no need to worry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, as soon as possible, take your place in the main hall, and we'll wrap it up and be able to have the party as soon as possible as well.